microphone and uh, yeah, nobody else uh, present going Welcome around. to the Glamour of Showbiz. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, we're ready. Cool. Um, this was just dive in, really. Yeah, um, in, in the Q&A, you, you, you mentioned the script was good. So from a, from a British writer's point of view, what is it you're, as an actor, you're looking for in scripts? Or what, what's your criteria that well, makes for you... Me, I mean, well, for a start, the criteria is... Am I allowed to read it? Am I allowed to be in it? Like there are good scripts in England all the time, which I, I get to find out about through Netflix or Blockbusters or, or download them on iTunes. But in terms of reading them before they've been made with some other fucker playing the role, um, <laughs> that's one criterion. Okay. So I haven't played um, a major part in a British film since 1996. Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. I thought, given it's not since 96, it's sort of... So what was it then when you when you got hold of this then? My point is that this is the one I got hold of. I oh, haven't I see, been offered I see. anything since then. Right. What, that's why I'm in America. I, if I could have, there's there's not many re reasonable British films made in the last fifteen years that I wouldn't have been in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So it's not without a certain amount of kind of sniffiness that I went off to Los Angeles thinking, <laughs> "Fuck you, lot." <laughs> <laughs> um, but some, as it happens, you know, going away sometimes helps. Yeah. So you know, I, I've had to be a bit of a kind of terrier about getting work. So let's say you get the scripts, yet. So let's go with the scenario. So you get me, the script. What, the what are you seeing? For, the, the for me, it's the fact that it's modern, which I've not had the chance to do. Mm -hmm. It's London, so there's a possibility that I can play him as another. You know, I went to a comprehensive school. Mm. You know, I I'm, don't come from a rich background. But I could have gone either way. You know, so this is no further from me than any other role I've played. So it's an opportunity to do something different, and with a surface thing to play and a different story underneath, which is a good opportunity for an actor mm. with a couple of good actors already attached. Now, for me, that is you know, a very good opportunity not to be sniffed at, yeah. you know. A script like that arrives with Gabriel Byrne, you know, I'm interested. <laughs> now, you're we'll a nasty piece of work in this film. I, that is true. Yes, we can get that, that's facts yeah, we can you get right. that out of the way. So what, what do you think at the heart, I mean, at the, the way this film ends, I mean, what do you think is the, the, the moral at the heart of this story then that you've, that you play such a... What do I think is the moral yeah, what, at the heart what, what, of the story? What, what, I don't do you, work for Hallmark. What do, you, well, what do you hope we go away with in terms of... In terms of a, it's a grim world and what's the point? Really? No, I just I'm not used to being asked questions like where I'm supposed to come up with a, a pithy moral. Um, well, no, but it's a story, isn't it? I mean, it's a story about London. It's a story about gangland, and it's a story about a corrupt cop who obviously is. I don't believe in I don't believe in one line morals. You see, I think maybe that's why I'm an actor. I I, I don't believe that there's one sentence. I mean, it, it's okay. Well, take take Dixon's character then. Obviously, he yeah. ends up in your shoes, as it were. It looks like. Yeah. So what what would you say would be it, the question would be then: What was his? What, where does he go with that moral dilemma? Does he carry on being the good cop, or is what he's learnt from this story to be Parker? Well, I don't think he's. By the end of the story, I don't think he's learnt much. Yeah. I mean, you know, um, not to give away too much. He's not really, you know, in much of a thinking position by the end of yeah. the film. But um, no, I don't think he's someone that would learn. I think he's someone that has, you know, life can teach you the wrong lessons. I mean, you know, I believe that Parker is someone who, and it's not covered in the script, he's, this is what I think, I think he's someone that grew up in a relatively normal suburban family mm. and, and drew his own conclusions from seeing people be screwed over by living decent lives. And um, that, combined with the person that he naturally was at birth, has produced someone who is thoroughly amoral and believes in just getting exactly what he wants. Now, you know, what you want is a difficult thing to decide. He's decided it is, you know, boat drinks, some other... I mean, that's the know. fascinating part of the film, I think, that you we arrive and Parker's already poisoned, isn't he? He's oh, not, yeah, we, yeah. We, it's but, just but, a matter of finding out. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not... He doesn't He doesn't become that in No, the I don't believe he's someone... I don't believe he was someone who joined the police force as a big, open-hearted kind of, oh, what a wonderful world. I think by the time he was 14, 15, he was pretty much formed. It's just been incrementally a matter of finding out how much he can get away with and getting more and more poisoned by it. If we could speculate then, in a parallel universe, yeah. Parker kills everyone at the end. Yeah, we're in a parallel, parallel when, universe. What does he do next with £47 million well, in bonds? He, he, what, he, he goes and fucks it up. Yeah. But, you know, he, but um, he gets on a plane, he goes and he, he goes to Brazil and he, um, and he, he 
he bigs is it. So you're, you're, Park is always about deter, he's determined almost to fail. By the way, he. Oh yeah, I mean he's you know it doesn't mean that he's doesn't mean that his plan is rigged to success. In fact, he's he's got some kind of uh, he's got this big idea mm. that he's gonna he's gonna live the high life mm. in some island somewhere else. He's gonna leave it all behind. I don't know if that's possible to do that. It certainly doesn't work in his case. You know. One last question then while we're on the yeah. countdown here. What, which, which, which scene did you relish the most in terms of... Uh, in terms well, of I, don't really, I don't want really to give it away. I don't want really to give it away. There's a, there's a scene which to me is pretty chilling mm. when he kind of lets his best friend down. Yes, OK. I, I know where you're going. I know where <laughs> yes. you're going, yes, yes. And that to me when I read it was just like... Um, I thought, how do you, how do you do that? You know, and so that I don't want to say I relished it. You know, I yeah, 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 no, but, I tell you, but that was, was the one I kind of. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. if I looked forward to it, but it was interesting. Bit, to bit do. Carter, that point, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? yeah, especially yeah. given the the, the scene exactly. as well. Exactly, it's not without its references. Yeah, yeah, film, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, look, I think. All right. Nice one. Well, thank Thanks you very, very much, much for your time. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Great.